Deborah Sampson, Soldier of the Revolution. As a young girl, Deborah Sampson never could have imagined that she would be remembered in history 250 years after her birth. Living in Plimpton, Massachusetts in the 1760s, she was so poor that she could think only about the daily struggle to stay alive. After Deborah's father abandoned his wife and seven children, her mother had no way to support her large family. The older children were sent to live and work in the homes of strangers. Deborah spent 10 years as a servant to the Thomases, a kind farm family. She worked hard on the farm and spent her free time learning to read and write. At the age of 18, Deborah became a school teacher. She also made extra money spinning and weaving. She often worked in the back room at Sprout's Tavern, where men gathered to talk about the news of the day. In 1770s Massachusetts, the news was mostly about the Revolutionary War. The old men talked about politics while the young men swapped stories of their fates and General Washington's army. Deborah listened with fascination as she sat at the spinning wheel. She wanted to experience such adventures too. She was envious of the young men's freedom and resented the limits placed upon young women of her time. She wanted to take part in the important events that were swirling around her. Finally, Deborah decided to take action. She secretly made herself a suit of men's clothing. Then she cut her hair and joined the army as Robert Shirtliff. Deborah's disguise was believable because she was so much taller than the average man at that time. Also, years of hard physical work had given her a strong back and well developed muscles. Deborah could march, work, and fight as well as any man in her company. Deborah's unit was involved in several fights. In one of them, she was injured twice. The first injury was a slash to the forehead. The second was a shot through the upper thigh. She allowed a doctor to dress the cut on her head, but she didn't want to tell him about the leg wound, fearing he would discover that she was a woman. She removed the musket ball herself. Robert Shirtliff was released from the army in October 1783. Still wearing men's clothing, Deborah returned to her family. Although shocked by what she had done, they welcomed her home. While visiting with relatives, Deborah met Benjamin Gannett, whom she soon married. The couple had three children and also adopted a little girl whose parents had died. The Gannett family was very poor. To earn money, Deborah went on a speaking tour. She dressed in a military uniform and gave talks about her unusual experiences. Although the